Good morning Year 7 and 8 and thank you for tuning in and watching this assembly. I hope you are all well and adapting to the challenges of home learning again. I'm sure some of you have some serious deja vu back at home working. I wanted to get in touch to say how pleased and happy we are with those of you who've kept in touch with your teachers and made every effort to stay on top of your schoolwork this week and last week. I know how hard it is to juggle everything when we are not at our normal place of work. If you are watching this, have been able to send an email to a teacher, log in to class charts, attend a virtual registration, complete any pieces of work, then you are doing a great job and you need to be proud of yourself. Keep it up and don't be too hard on yourself. During these times, it is increasingly important that we focus on our mental health and well-being. We need to take time to look after ourselves and be kind to ourselves. We are all under different challenges and different pressures, and it is important to take a breath and slow down. If you are struggling, please don't put too much pressure on yourself to get everything done by a certain time. Take a step back. And if you need more time or any support, then please get in touch with me. Don't stress. We are all taking every day as it comes and just trying our best. This assembly is to remind you to pause and focus on your own mental health and well-being. Please contact me if you need any further support. Happy New Year. 2021 may not have started the way that we hoped it would, um, but it's important that we all remain positive and I really hope that we'll be in school soon um, where we can see each other and I can see all the lovely faces. Okay, Some of you may be worried about your schoolwork now that we've moved to online learning. Um, this can be very stressful, Okay, but it's important to look after yourselves. OK, so if you are getting worried or stressed or you're finding that you're unable to cope, please take some time out to look after yourselves and keep in touch with us and let us know. OK, getting into a routine, making sure that you have time for breakfast and you're eating healthy meals, getting out to enjoy the outdoors, even when it's raining, just for some fresh air and to have some exercise are so important in keeping focus during times that are difficult like this, particularly when it's dark outside a lot of the time. Okay, If you are worried or stressed and you are finding it difficult to keep the deadlines, keep in touch with your teachers. Please, Year 9, you can email me on thomasv at pontyhigh.co.uk because we are here to help and we understand that it is a stressful time. I mean, we get overwhelmed with it as well. OK, so it's no surprise that you do. And we just need to think of a few techniques to help us through it. OK, most important one is to keep talking and keep in touch with us. And I'll see you soon. As I said at the start of this assembly, our main focus is well-being. On the screen, there are 20 exercises in mindfulness for you to try at home to keep yourselves feeling positive and less overwhelmed. It is important for pupils, teachers and even parents to try some of the activities below, which can really help improve the way we are feeling during this time. If you are having a bad day, take a break from your schoolwork and have a go at one or two of these activities. I would love to hear from you once you have given some of these a try. Remember, it's not all about academic tasks. Even though these are very important, you and your well-being is more important. Please look after yourselves and give some of these a try. During the rest of this assembly, you will see some familiar faces from school who will be letting you know what well-being activities they have recently been trying during this lockdown. I hope you enjoy. Hi everyone, Happy New Year, hope you're all doing well. To combat my lockdown blues, I've taken up the Alzheimer's Step Up Challenge. For this challenge, I have to do 850,000 steps over 88 days. So far, so good, I'm on track. I'm doing about 10,000 steps a day. Don't tend to go out um, till the evening after I've homeschooled my children and done my schoolwork. But today was slightly different. 
I went up to school to do some work this morning and I walked home from school. And something I never thought I'd be able to do, but I'm really proud of. So I've walked about three and a half miles from school to my house. Um, and I've done over eight and a half thousand steps. So I'm really proud today. I feel a real sense of achievement. Um, I've got a GoFundMe page so people are sponsoring me. So that's given me lots of motivation as well as me getting healthier and fitter. And I feel so much better. When I go to bed in the night, my mind is clear and I sleep really, really well. Uh, I've really seen the benefits of walking. So you don't need any expensive equipment, comfy pair of shoes, warm coat, bobble hat, gloves, whatever, and off you go. Living in Ponty, we've got fabulous places to walk. You can walk through the town, you can walk in the streets, you can walk um, in the park, you can go wherever. Mountains is brilliant. Um, yeah, I'm really, really enjoying it. So I hope to keep up with it as well after the challenge is finished. Um, obviously, give it a go, do it safely. Obviously, stay within your bubble, uh, don't mix with others. Um, and be safe. But if you see me out walking, give me a wave from a distance. Uh, yeah, so go me. So see you soon. Take care. Bye. I hope you're well. I just wanted to share with you something I've been doing in lockdown. It's called a grateful diary and each morning I write down five things I'm grateful for. It could be a cup of coffee, it could be that it's dry outside or it could be there a good night's sleep. Hi all, it's Mr Ali here. You can't see me at the moment, but that's my little boy Theo. That's his football. And uh, obviously I know that this lockdown situation isn't ideal. Um, it's not what anyone's wanted, not what anyone would have hoped for, but we've got to try and make the best of it. So one thing I try and do every day is get out for a walk. Uh, you know, especially with my little boy, it's really good for him, really good for me. Uh, and you know, when I get home afterwards, I feel so much better for it. Uh, we don't want to be stuck indoors the whole time. Uh, it's really important to get out there and do something, stretch your legs, to clear your head, whatever it is. And uh, yeah, I hope you're all safe and well and uh, hopefully see you soon. Stay safe. Um, I hope you're all taking care of yourselves. My favourite well-being activity would be walking with the dog. This is Boris. Um, whenever I'm feeling a bit stressed or a bit anxious, I like to get out, have a nice long walk. I find it always relaxes me and, um, and I always feel better after a bit of exercise. So I hope you're all taking time out to look after yourselves and this assembly has given you some ideas of some different things you could do. Okay, see you soon. Hi everybody, Mrs Enos here. I hope that you're okay. When Miss Pritchard and Mrs Thomas asked about the different things we've been doing during this lockdown, there was something that came to my mind straight away that's been the best fun in the last few weeks. Now, some of my family members have been doing this for quite some time, but my mum bought myself and my husband this for Christmas. And it's safe to say it has filled quite a lot of our time. We have been playing this board game here. It says here, Race to Base. 
also known as frustration. And it has been so much fun to not be in front of the telly, to not be on our phones and to be doing something different. A little bit competitive, but it has been a lot of fun. I really suggest playing some board games and, and just having a bit of a laugh. Hi all, uh, just out on my run. Uh, I like to break up the day, uh, get away from the computer screen a little bit by going out for runs and walks out the house. Um, just remember, you don't have to do everything at once. Make sure you break up your day into small chunks. And if you ever get stuck on anything, all your teachers are here to help you. Take care. Hi everyone, over the Christmas holidays my daughter and I completed this jigsaw, um, so it's the London skyline and there were a thousand pieces. It was really good for us because it meant that we got to sit around the table and talk for um, a couple of hours at a time without looking at screens or being in front of the TV, so it was a really nice activity for us to do together. So I'm hoping to frame it and pop it on the wall somewhere and hopefully before long it's somewhere we'll be able to visit together too. Take care, bye! Hello everybody, I hope you are all keeping safe and well and a happy new year to you all. During lockdown, I have taken up a new hobby to keep myself busy and to stop all of the boredom and to stop me watching Netflix constantly. This hobby, I taught myself from YouTube tutorials and it is called crocheting. Now crocheting is a little bit like knitting with wool, but you use one hook instead, two needles. So I've been creating little rainbows I've created some blankets and I've even created an NHS teddy bear, which you will be able to see in the pictures. So don't be afraid to try something new. Have a look on YouTube or you can have a go at, get creative, get crafty and most importantly, stay safe. Bye. Hi everyone. Hope you are well. Um, thinking of you all. I hope you're all staying safe. Um, and yet again, it's another difficult time for us all. Um, for me, lockdown so far has involved quite a bit of work in, whether that's um, from my home or in school, um, but also trying to get out and get some fresh air and go for some nice long walks um, when possible. I'm trying to do my New Year's resolution, which is to get back running. Um, I'm thinking of you all, I'm missing you all. Can't wait for us to all be back in school and have some normality back. Um, but for now, please look after each other, please look after yourselves and stay safe. Um, I'm really looking forward to seeing you all again very soon. Bye now.